Here's how I went from this to this with just a few calibrations and some slicer settings. Wood filament absorbs moisture like crazy, which can be the main reason your wood filament prints aren't working out. You should also use a 0.6 or a larger nozzle size to prevent clogging. But beware, nozzle size change demands a recalibration of flow rate and linear advance. Bamboo Studio calls it flow dynamics. I put a 0.8 mm nozzle on the P1P and started printing without really drying it or calibrating for the new nozzle and the print turned out not too bad. But then I dug deeper into getting the best possible print with the new nozzle. I printed the two calibration prints that the Bamboo Studio offers after a whole night of drying and got consistently fantastic prints with zero stringing. And these are the slicer settings you should change. Number one, set layer height to optimal or fine. Number two, edit a generic PLA profile and go to the filament tab. Change the printing temperature to 200 and set the max volumetric speed to 4 for printers with weaker cooling and to 7 for printers with sufficient cooling capabilities. Number 3. Under Setting Override step, set the retraction length to 1 mm and the retraction speeds to 50 mm per second. Enable wipe while retracting and set the distance of the wipe to 2 mm. Number 4. Set the initial layer speeds to 20 and 25 mm per second for good layer adhesion. And make sure you generally slow down your print speeds. No more excuses about how printing with wood filaments is hard. Happy printing!